Hello friends, in this video, let us discuss what causes actually electric shock. We often believe that when a person has skill with electric shock, we believe that the voltage has killed the person rather than a current. In this video, let us see whether a voltage has killed a person or a current has killed a person. But statistical investigations have shown that it is difficult to specify a voltage whether it is dangerous or not because actually the electric shock is caused by the current that flows through the human body and the electric current which flows through the human body depends on two resistances one is the skin contact resistance and other one is the bodily resistance and when you compare the bodily resistance with the skin contact resistance your bodily resistance is very negligible so that means i can say the electric current which flows through the body depends on the skin contact resistance it depends on the skin contact resistance and this skin contact resistance varies with the skin whether your skin is wet or whether your skin is dry and how thick is your skin and it also depends on the resistivity of the skin so the res contact resistance depends on the wetness dryness thickness and resistivity of the skin so if we classify the currents which are potentially dangerous and which are fatal to the human body. So if I say if the current flowing through the human body is 5 milliamperes, then it is not potentially dangerous. So the current below the currents below 5 milliamperes are not potentially dangerous to the human body. But if I say if you the, if the current flowing through the human body is 10 milliamp, it is between 10 milliamperes and 20 milliamperes, then it is potentially dangerous because the victim loses muscular control. So when you touch the electric wire, you will lose the multi muscular control. There will be contractions in your body and these prevent you from letting go. So when you touch the electrical wire, you cannot move from that electrical wire because there will be muscular contractions in your body. So 10 milliamperes to 20 milliamperes, it is potentially dangerous and equal to 50 milliamperes or above 50 milliamperes it is the consequences are fatal so the consequence would be fatal when the current flowing through the human body is 50 milliamperes so let us see how the current kills the body rather than a voltage so if i say the skin contact resistance depending on the wetness dryness thickness and resistivity of the skin it varies between 500 ohm to 50 kilo ohm so 500 ohm to 50 kilo ohm so let us consider a voltage let me say i am having a 600 volt line okay we are having a 600 volt line and let me say i am considering the dry skin okay so when i consider the dry skin your dry skin will be having more contact resistance rather than a wet skin or a clammy hand so I am you having a dry hand or a dry skin. So when I use say dry skin, uh, resistance will be more. So let me consider the resistance is 50 kilo ohm. Then the current will be 600 volt by 50 kilo ohm. So this will result if I take it to numerator, this will be milli. So this will be 5 to 12. So 12 milliamperes. So the 600 volt line. By considering the dry skin, you will be having 12 milliamperes and this is not fatal because you can see the currents between 10 milliamperes and 20 milliamperes are potentially dangerous because the victim loses the muscular control but they are not fatal. When the current exceeds 50 amperes, the consequences would be fatal but here you can see 600 volt line with the dry skin, you are holding that line so it won't, the situations may not be fatal okay now similarly consider a 25 volt line so this is a low voltage line you can see 25 is very much lower than 600 volt so here i'll consider wet skin so when i consider the wet skin then or a clammy hand then i say if i if the resistance is 500 ohms okay so by considering 25 upon 500 I am having, uh, I will multiply 10 to the power of 3 here and 10 to the power of 3 here. So this is, this will be 25,000 upon, this is 25,000 upon 500 milliamps. So this will be 
five ones are five fifty. So this will be fifty milliampere. So you can see the current flowing through human body will be fifty milliampere, and the fifty milliampere causes the conditions to be more fatal. So because you can see the voltage, it is difficult to specify. In the video, in the beginning of the video, I have said that it is difficult to specify if voltage is dangerous or not. And you can see here the 600 volt or the 25 volt. You cannot specify which voltage is dangerous. But the current here tells you whether it is dangerous or whether it is fatal to the human body. So you can see the current here 12 milliamperes is not fatal, but the current here 50 milliamperes is fatal to the human body. So when you hold the electrical wire, then the current passes through the human body and then the victim loses the muscular control and there will be the muscular contractions and that prevents the human body from letting go from that electric shock. So if the electric current flows through the region of heart, then there will be temporary paralysis and if it flows long enough, then there is a condition which results in fibrillation. So we call it as fibrillation. Fibrillation means it is a rapid and uncoordinated heartbeat heartbeat which is not synchronized with the pulse beat so if the current through the heart flows for long enough it will cause fibrillation where the heartbeat is not synchronized with the pulse beat and then in such cases to revive the person you have to give artificial respiration so artificial respiration can be provided to revive the person from uh, being death Okay, now statistical investigation have also shown that there is a one chance in 10 person, one chance in 10 person that may cause death if the current I will be greater than or equal to 116 into root T. So there will be one chance in 10, 10 number, one chance in 10 number that causes the electric current causes death if it satisfies the following equation that is i is greater than or equal to 116 to root t where i is in the milliamperes and t is in the seconds where 116 is the empirical constant and it expresses the probability of the fatal outcome so you can use this equation and you can say whether a person can die or not because of that current and there will be one chance in 10 number whether a person can die or not so this is all about what I can say about electric shock and you can tell your friends what actually causes electric shock. I hope you understood well. Thank you.